Hi, I'm Todd Clevenger, and welcome to the American Craftsman Workshop. Today, uh, I want to show a couple of tables to you. I'm getting ready to deliver these to one of the furniture galleries here in town, which they'll uh, be sold through. And I want to take this opportunity, sort of uh, use this to as a springboard to, to answer the questions and start the conversation on how I sell my work, because this has got to be the most common questions that I continually get from the woodworkers, is how do I sell my projects? Well, before I get into how I sell my projects, I uh, came to realize this is going to be my one experience and one point of view. And so I uh, called a friend of mine who is selling his work at an annual craft show called Summer Fair here in Billings. It's a juried craft show, so it's a little bit higher end and you see some nicer stuff. And I asked him, would you be willing to uh, give us a little interview and talk about your business and your goals and how you sell your stuff? So he agreed to that. So I'm going to bring you... Uh, another video uh, with his interview. But while I was there, I also contacted two other guys. I just went up to them, saw they were selling uh, their woodworking goods. And, and, and I just said, I'm Todd Clippinger. Can you give us some information? And really, we're talking to the woodworkers. And amazingly, they said, yes. Yeah. So uh, I've made a couple new friends and got a couple more interviews. So the great thing is, we're going to have four videos here where each one of us is just talking about how we share, uh, we sell our um, our projects and share a little bit about our own business because we each have a different perspective. So I will get started. I basically sell my stuff because I'm a contractor. I'm a remodeling contractor. And that puts me in control of the projects. I design them. I sell the projects. I get to sell my ideas. This puts me in an optimum position in order to sell my custom work. So I sell a lot of built-ins and uh, do a lot of custom woodwork that's attached to houses and built-in. Over the years, I've seen that change. I'm being called now uh, without having to sell whole remodels. I'm able to sell custom built-ins and freestanding items and uh, furnishings of various types. So I've come a long ways. And through that, I built a nice portfolio and I've become a juried artist and I've shown in a couple of museum settings as well. So I've really reached a high level all through the fact that I was a remodeling contractor and have gained all this experience. Now, I would say that 98% of my, my projects and my work is sold uh, through uh, homeowners contacting me wanting something built in because of my reputation for doing built-ins and being a contractor. But something like this, these tables, um, I do sell a little bit through galleries, but very little. And actually on this, a metalworking friend of mine, he, he said, hey, Todd, what do you think of just slapping something out and throwing it in the galleries and see how it sells? So we do that. We don't do it a lot. We don't devote a lot of time to it, but it's kind of fun just to slam something out. Here's what's kind of interesting. You know, a lot of times, uh, woodworkers, metalworkers, what we found uh, was that uh, through both groups, everybody wants to build these grand pieces and sell them for a lot of money. Really what you have involved in is a lot of time, a lot of materials, and your profit margins are very small uh, by the time the gallery owner takes their share. These tables, uh, they are priced at 650 bucks a piece. So the gallery takes 50%. Now me and my buddy, we split the other 50%. So I see 25%, $650. So I'm going to see $162.50 out of a single table. Guess what? $162 will more than cover what I have in, um, involved in time and materials in just these two tops. I am more than happy with that. So it's a little bit of just mad money and bit a bit of an experiment to see what will sell. We slam these things out. Make no mistake, the work is nice. The finish on the woodwork is nice. Uh, my friend does some real nice uh, work blacksmithing. Uh, and, and for him, these look like they'd be complicated to me, but he, he swears he can slam those out pretty quick. But basically, we've got minimal investment in time and materials, and we've maximized our profit margin on these items. And we just kind of do them on our spare time once in a while when they need to sell more. So they sell, we make more, and they sell after a while. So no big deal. So anyways... Um, uh, but actually I sell very little through the galleries. I, I have galleries contact me on a pretty regular basis and they, they ask if I'd be interested in selling stuff. But the fact is I don't have a lot of time to make things on spec. And that's why I, we, you know, my friend and I, we've decided to try to slam some stuff out like this. Very simple, minimal investment of time and material, maximum profit. Um, that's really the only way we can do this. Also, I don't really sell th through online sources like Etsy or Custom Made. I don't have anything against those, but I just, once again, 
I don't have time to make a lot of stuff on spec and that, that I just don't have the momentum going that direction. But I know of other people that do that. And you know what? The guys that sell through the shows, the guys that sell on Etsy and custom made and the online sources, they have a certain momentum that they build and they start going that way. My momentum is basically through the trades direction. So a lot of you may think that <clears throat> what I do doesn't relate to you. And that's great because that's why I interviewed these other guys. Now, I will say this, guys. There's a lot of value in the fact that I have a trades background. I know how houses are put together. I know how office buildings are put together. I understand structures and construction. So when I design something, especially that's to be built in, I'm very aware of how that structure is built and I'm very concerned about where can I can attach things and place things and fasteners and, and all these things come into play. I also know exactly what to look for when I go to do a built-in because nothing is ever straight, square, or plumb. So I'm, I'm very aware of all these sensory things are, are constantly you know, a part of the project and I have a lot of experience in dealing with that. Also because of my background, I also am very good with the installation process. I'm very good with, with making that super uh, tight fit that just looks supreme. And I can repair walls because undoubtedly I'm gonna scratch walls. I have to repair texture, paint, caulk in. I can do all these things. I can pop trim off a wall, fit pieces in, put trim back on and make, look, make it look like it never came off. I am, I am very good at what I do and that, that experience is very valuable to me. If you're, if you're planning on doing custom woodworking, doing built-ins, if you don't have a clue what's going on with the structure, if you're not doing the install, uh, then your contractor, the contractor that's doing the install, the craftsman, he's going to be very frustrated with you because there are some things that you just didn't accommodate him on. And uh, until you start understanding some of those things, uh, it, 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 can, it can make for a rocky relationship. But you'll learn, I'm sure. So don't be intimidated by that either. But that's basically how I sell is through remodel. Once in a while, I sell through galleries uh, as I do in this situation. I don't really sell online. But I have sold some projects online. I do have a lot of work in other states, actually. Uh, a lot of my, my high send stuff is out in Ohio. But I go out in Ohio and I work, once again, as a contractor. If I just give the word that I'm showing up, people start calling me. They know what I build. They know what they they know I'm good at it and they want to hire me for that. So uh, um, I can work here in Montana where I live or I can work where I come from back in central Ohio and I can, I can do it either location. I did have a, a, a couple of uh, contacts through online. Guys just did some searches and they came across me. One was the executive TV producer for PBS in New York City and he ordered a shaker bench and it sits in a house. He has in upstate New York, a house full of old Stickley, new Stickley and Thomas Mosier and now he has a Todd Clippinger, and he said it fits very well. Very pleased with it. He said it's, it's a perfect complement to the rest of the house. Also, uh, these guys don't even know each other, but a Grammy, two-time Grammy award-winning music producer from New York City found me, contacted me on building some stuff for his studio. So I built some uh, holders for his equipment in his uh, studio. And it was kind of pedestrian work, but he saw me uh, teaching how to uh, deal with melamine, and he just decided he wanted me to do it. And my turnaround time was really quick on it. He was very pleased. So uh, kind of interesting how you sell things online. Uh, sometimes you just never know where it's going to come in. Largely, those are how I sell my things and some of my experiences. Now, I want to tell you guys, if you're, you're interested in business, inundate, soak in yourself, surround yourself with business-minded individuals and, uh, and, um, uh, and information. A couple of things that I, I suggest that you read, Woodshop News and Cabinet Maker FDM. Uh, both of those are magazines geared towards uh, professional woodworking shops, cabinet shops. I highly suggest that you check into those. Also, uh, WoodWeb is a great website for professionals to gather and share their woodworking experiences. It's, a, it's, a, it's an online community for professionals. Going to warn you, don't go over to WoodWeb and set up an account and start asking hobby questions, hobbyist level questions. Basically, if you're a hobbyist, you will be vetted out, you'll be blocked out. They curate that site and maintain it very well. It is geared towards professionals and they keep it professional. They eject anybody that basically causes trouble or is not a professional. They don't want it to turn into a hobby woodworking community. Now there's nothing against hobby woodworkers, but there are great places, other communities, 
uh, to have that conversation. And I even go to those uh, websites uh, like Lumberjocks and uh, um, the Wood Whisper uh, Wood Talk Forum. Uh, I love those guys and I like helping everybody out. But um, there's a different conversation that I have there helping woodworkers than I would over at WoodWeb where it's a peer-to-peer uh, a professional level conversation. So uh, surround yourself with, with uh, uh, that information and um, um, that will help you out a lot. Well, I hope that you found this information helpful and I understand that you're not a contractor, so maybe this doesn't seem to apply to you, but that's why I've interviewed the other guys and I have them coming up. All the videos will be hot linked together, so be sure to check each one of them out. You don't, they'll be in no special order. You can watch them in any order that you want and and so be, be on the lookout for those videos. They're coming soon. And until next time, be safe in your own shop. You know, I can't even remember what I've talked about now.